All right, so you've got your mask, you've got your noose. Now it's time to do some stitching to make it look uh, like it's been stitched together with multiple pieces of burlap. Usually what I like to do is I like to go along the eyebrows. I usually do some stitching up the, the forehead and across the head, usually another one here. I like to come down the nose. A lot of times I'll do just one little right here, right there. And then I'll come and I'll bring sew the mouth closed. I'll bring it together a little bit. Make it extra creepy. Then I'll come down here on this side a little bit and I like to jump across from one fold to another. So I might come up here and come up here a little bit and then come back. So that's what I'm gonna do. What you're gonna need for this one is you're gonna need a nail. And basically all that does is just give you a hole. You're basically sewing, but there aren't really any needles that I've found so far that can hold large string like this. And you need some large string if you want. You can dye it with your uh, rope if you want that you're gonna use. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out and you're gonna get some guitar string, six or seven inches long, and you're gonna fold it with some pliers right here. And you're also gonna need some needle nose pliers because they come in handy for pulling through. It makes it a little easier because sometimes it's pretty hard to pull. So I found my needle nose pliers. I had to grab it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the nail first and I'm gonna start a hole. You wanna start the hole on the side that you wanna push it through. That'll make more sense later. Say I wanna start right here. I wanna. Shove that nail through, give it a little spin, okay, like that. Then you're gonna go ahead and set up your string how you want it. What I like to do is take the string, take my wire piece, like that. See? Now I'm gonna take the nail out, I'm gonna stick the wire through. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot before I pull it too far. I'll probably tie it twice just to make sure that knot's big enough that it won't pull through. Since I'm just starting out, just like that. See that? I'm just gonna continue doing that until I've got a nice line on here of stitching. I'll speed it up again here. Here we go. So I think I'm gonna end this one, uh, end this this knot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through again here. Okay. And before I pull that knot tight, I'm gonna go through the loop. Go like that. And then I might do it again just to create a little bit of a, a knot so it doesn't come undone. Just do it again. Go through. Maybe. Before you pull all the way through, go through the loop that you were, and then tighten it down. And I'll just trim it. Give yourself a little bit of leftovers. Sometimes that's nice. Okay, so that's what you wanna do. You wanna go through and you wanna go ahead and add all the places that uh, you think will look nice. And uh, I'm gonna add here, and I'm gonna do some here and here, across the nose and the mouth. And I'm gonna do all that. I'm not gonna 
have you guys watch that because it's gonna take forever. I mean, and this will take you a good hour to two, three hours, just depending on how much time you put into it and how tight you wanna make these, these seams. So that's it right there. Um, I'm gonna finish this up. I'll show you the mouth when I get to that. But now before you go ahead and sew the mouth, because you're basically just gonna do cross, cross, across, 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 until you almost kind of pull it closed a little bit and create like a, almost like a mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole for, uh, for some extra room to breathe. Uh, I just make a small hole with, um, with like an X-Acto knife. I'll just make like a, almost an eye shape hole right there. Just to give you a little extra room to breathe and uh, you know, maybe you wanna, don't wanna take your mask off all night and you can just drink with a straw. You could do that too. But I don't want it to be too big, I want it to be almost in invisible. Now remember you're cutting through all those layers, so you want your knife to be really sharp. Now what you need to do afterwards, see how it's white right there? I take a Sharpie and I just hit it with a Sharpie and darken it all up. We're gonna do the same thing with the eyes, but that's a little bit later. That's it. I'll go ahead and show you how to sew it up. Same principles as before. I like to start right here. Cause I like to leave a little end right there just to make it kind of weird and creepy. And that nail just gives you enough room to work your string through there and your string or your guitar string through there without getting caught on the burlap. So I'm just gonna make a knot again. I'm gonna double, yeah, see how it goes. That looks good. Might trim it down a little bit, that's a little, a little too much. Now I'm just gonna cross the mouth. I'm actually going to come up from the bottom of the lip right here. Stick a hole right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come up from the bottom of the lip. Come through like that. Like that, see? I'm crossing over the mouth like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and come down from the top again. I like to do a little bit of both. Um, I like to come around the lip, and sometimes I come straight from underneath and just go straight through. I like to mix it up though, because the more you mix it up, the more it looks random and more believable that uh, somebody's sewing this mask and being very frantic about it and just trying to get it done as quick as possible, so. I said, I'll keep telling you this over and over again. The more random and uncalculated, the the better it is for this design. So I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So you have to sit here, and watch me do struggle with this. So you have to sit here, and watch me, and uh, just watch me quickly do this. Okay, now this time I'm gonna go through and go follow the direction. Instead of wrapping around the lip, I'm just gonna go straight through this way. As you go, you can get a feel for it and kinda get a good idea of where you wanna go with it. This is really up to you far as where the stitches go, because all of them are going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be able to make them exactly the same, so let's do what looks nice, what you think looks good, that's all that matters. Sometimes I cross things. See, I could go, typically go that way, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and cross it this way and wrap it around that, that piece, see that?
we're gonna finish sewing up the mask and uh, just you know do some stitching you know wherever you think it might look nice and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and cut out the eyes here real soon I have a pretty good feeling the eyes are going to hit right about here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mask on and I'm going to just kind of feel where I need to put them. So. Now, from there, I'm going to go ahead and cut two slits with an X Acto knife about where I think it's going to be. And I'm also going to cut out the nose because you need to be able to breathe in there. I'm gonna start by cutting the eyes kind of small and then I'll cut them larger as um, I fit it and see, you know, maybe I'm a little high, maybe I'm a little low, but I start small and then I can kind of adjust that hole where, where it goes. Let's do a test fit again. So after you kind of test fit, you can see how you need to adjust the eyes a little bit where you might need to go. Now at this point you want to go ahead and cut that out as much as as you need for your own face but since I'm making this for somebody else I'm gonna just leave it like that and I'm gonna let them finish cutting it um, to fit their eyes because um, you know their eyes might be a little closer together or farther apart than mine and I don't want to ruin their mask adjusting it to my face. So, I'll show you a couple more things real quick and we'll be done. Grab yourself a Sharpie and then what you can do is you can go back and hit those areas that you just cut out to turn them black again. You could also use paint. Um, that would work too. I find the Sharpie to be pretty simple and easy to do some quick touch up and make that area look dark again. Just like that. Do the mouth a little bit. So you can see that where I cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and just marker that up and it's going to disappear. This mask doesn't quite fit my head very well. It's a little smaller than uh, smaller than my head measurements, so just by a little bit. So it's a little bit tight. But once you put this on, once you put the mask on your head, you're gonna put the rope down around, and then you're gonna take this, fold it over this side, right? You're gonna take that rope, tighten it up. Okay, so once you got it tightened, that's it. That's your mask. That's how you take it on and, and kind of hold it to your head. So make sure it stays. You can't really see where your head is at all, uh, where the seam of the mask is, which is fantastic. Okay, so there you go. That's it. You made it through. Uh, I'm glad you stuck with me. And if you have any questions or comments or if I can help you out in any way, let me know. Have fun at Halloween and scaring your friends and little kids and all that kind of stuff. Thanks a lot.